CIG has been cooking. Star Citizen just revealed jump points. Really exciting stuff. Let's talk. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. Um, I'm, I'm my mind is blown. Honestly, with what I've seen in the latest Inside Star Citizen, they spoke about jump points for for the very first time in a very long time, and um, it's it's just mind blowing, you know. So what they did uh, speak about was how we'll be interacting with this with jump points, how we'll be traversing it, and um, the different kinds that we're going to see in the verse. And it's uh, it's really really interesting information so when it comes to jump points there are two types that you can expect there is going to be permanent ones in which any size ship can fit into it okay so and uh, these are going to be the major ones that um, will always be available so you're talking about the ones that go from pyro to stanton stanton to pyro or stanton to terra those those jump points that we've seen those are going to be permanent ones so now with these permanent ones, you can expect security being there as well as security checks. But to avoid this, then you have to look into the transient jump points. Okay, so these are the ones that are moving around, right? You have to look for them and um, there are some size restrictions uh, with these ones. These concepts are kind of similar to um, EVE Online and i kind of like it i feel like this one is a little bit more in depth than the jump points you need online you'll you'll see in the b-rolls that uh it's significantly different okay so with the transient jump points they're much smaller ships that you can use to fit in them so it's great for those that want to smuggle want to avoid security checks at the major ports they can use these transient jump points right so this is going to go into um, exploration gameplay, which we haven't yet seen as as means of finding these jump points. So that's going to be really cool. Also, these transient jump points will last for a limited period of time. So you won't know how long they'll be there for. And um, also, once you traverse through them, it's a one time use. OK, so it's, it's going to be really exciting to be able to go out and find these natural ones that pop in in and out throughout the system it's a great way to get around as well for those that want to avoid the main traffic areas okay so uh that's some great stuff there so now about these jump points these are going to be massive objects in the pu so you can see them from a great distance away and uh they have an alluring uh, behavior as well so as you get closer you can see that it's kind of calling you to come in it and uh, I think it's a really cool thing I kind of like the um, the ambient sounds that are around these things you can hear uh, lightning uh, and, and thundering sounds and it gives you that ambient sound uh, to, to, to let you know that you're in a massive space anomaly and that is very dangerous but it's also worthwhile traversing through them one of the great things that they mentioned in this episode is the fact that you can traverse through them with uh, multiple people. So you can have your group or crew traversing through them all together. In order to use these jump points with your crew, you just need to make sure you and your crew is together when approaching these jump points. Take a listen. The ATC calls that you have to make are for you. And then the groups that you go in are designated by the ATC. If you uh, contact ATC at the same time, you can be put into a queue together, but there's no guarantee that you'll be in the same jump group. If you want to jump with your friends, you need to make sure that you arrive together, and when you call ATC, you will be able to see how much space is in the group. So if you have friends and you want to jump together, you'll be able to know exactly how much room there is in that group and if it's not enough for you and you want to go with your friends later then you can forfeit and you go again in the future i definitely want to have some more quality of life features where you can get into queue at the atc as a party but currently our atc does not support queuing as a party so you'll just be doing it as an individual to use these jump points you need to use atc you need to attune to the wormhole itself which involves aligning and adjusting your speed and then once it's ready then you'll have the ability to i believe shoot 
a uh, a pulse to it which rips it open and, and there's this amazing animation that happens when it rips open and actually starts pulling you in once it begins to pull you in there's nothing you can do to stop it from pulling you in so now when you're tuning if there's an object in front of you it will stop you from attuning to the wormhole so just keep that in mind once you're in the wormhole you just need to steer towards the bright light there will be particle effects that kind of lead you towards the direction you need to head towards and um, it's just an amazing experience once you uh, see all the sounds and the effects all taking place through this video you can see it through the video um, as I am speaking all right so while you're in it you just need to avoid the edges of the tunnel if you approach the edges of the tunnel it will do damage disruption damage to your ship and if you approach the edges of it too closely you may fail the jump so now when you fail this jump what will happen is it will spit you out in either pyro or either or stanton depending on where you're coming from and where you're going to so depending on your progress through the jump if you're mostly if you made it mostly into pyro it will spit you in a random location in pyro based on what they're saying but if you're if you were mostly in stanton while you were you fail that jump it will spit you back into stanton so that is the current uh, iteration and what we can expect once uh, we get into this okay so one of the things i find amazing with these jump points is the fact that you'll be able to see other ships with you during the jump which is awesome so the way it works is all the ships will be lined up kind of like ducks in a row and you guys will all be flowing through the jump point so one of the things that people worry about with jump points is the fact that people thought there will be campers so cig has uh, mitigated this with the way you arrive so on arrival the wormhole will spit you out kind of like a shotgun effect in different spots okay so it won't be easy for people to predict where you will land or arrive for the reasons of ships colliding with each other and also for the reasons of people trying to camp you okay so now on arrival what's also amazing is the fact that they have a spaceport there that uh um, receives people coming from Stanton so that area is also going to be a safe zone and uh, it, I think you can dock at the station and also interact with the station as you will expect with any other station okay so now there will be structures that lead you to this station so it's not going to be as dangerous once you're in that area but once you leave that area then you can expect all that you can expect from pyro it's a dangerous system so you need to prepare and be wise with your decision making in that system so what can we expect with these jump points we can expect tech previews very soon so right now starts in alpha 4.0 uh jared did uh mention that they have an earlier goal to release it uh this year so i don't think their goal is to have it out by the end of the year but slightly before the end of the year so i'm i'm hoping towards uh maybe citizen con times we should at least have it in pt hopefully testing but for tech preview we will be getting tech preview test very soon so that we can start testing the jump point mechanics before we get star citizen alpha 4.0 out the door once again i'm super excited about this one i was expecting this to be an awesome episode if you haven't seen the episode yet i'm gonna leave the link down below so you can check it out yourself i recommend you check it out if you haven't seen it and also before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one